Right, we're on ball turf strike. Ball turf strike. That's today's topic, ball turf strike. I'm going to get you striking the ball like you've never struck it before. What causes ball turf strike? Hands. It's all in the hands. The hands have to lead the shot. The hands have to lead the club head. Hands are the command post, the only contact with the golf club. What do we do with our hands to make this happen? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to show you how to do nothing. So ball turf strike. Yeah, the hands need to lead the club head. If the handle of the club leads first through impact, of course, we get compression, forward shaft lean. We deal off the golf club and we get power. Then we get that ball turf strike. And the ball turf strike, as I mentioned, comes from the hands. What the hands do within the golf swing, encourage that ball turf strike. How does it happen though? What do we have to do with our hands? Well, there's release patterns in the golf swing. Club rolls over. We can leave it lying back. They're select shots. They're there for another day. They're not for impact with your normal iron shot. Let's say seven iron. I have eight iron. I want to keep my hands as quiet as possible. Almost like if I was to throw a ball, I don't want this ball to rotate and spin over because that would be over rotation of the club face and that's going to close the club face. I obviously don't want to pop the ball up into the air either. So I just want to keep my hands nice and neutral as I come through. So I take the address position with this ball, like so, and then when I follow through to one yard past, my right hand, my trail hand, the palm points to the sky, my lead hand, my gloved hand, palm points to the ground. Right palm to sky, lead palm to floor. I mean, doing that, there was no rotation, there was no flip of the hands, there was no manipulation. I never tried to get that club face to close over or the right hand to pass the left. I just naturally let the swing come into impact where both hands are side by side at impact. Right there, straight up and down. That's impact and then continued through. When I continue through, when I continue through to there, you can see it's still in a straight line. Arms and wrists, this hasn't happened. This hasn't happened. None of that's happened. It's been very neutral going through to impact and I've maintained that. I have maintained those neutral wrists through impact. The hands stayed very, very quiet through there, through, through. That's what has to happen at impact. If I flip there, if I flip here, right hand underneath, what happens to the club face? Face wide open. Chance of low point being early, pre-impact. Catch the ball thin on the way back up. It's no use. Over roll, over rotation, right hand passing left. There, club face too closed. There, club face flipped over, ball going left and also low. So the hands are so passive through impact. Now impact is just a fraction though. You have to be aware of that. Impact is it's just from the point of impact with the golf club to the point of separation. So the hands are quiet for a short spell through impact. If I address this golf ball, club behind the ball, and I flip, okay, there, and I flip under, there's no power there. That ball's just flopped to about here somewhere. I've lost power. If I over rotate this fashion, so roll the wrists from impact, from address position and impact, there we go, impact. <laughs> Went left, hit my golf clubs, came back, so immediately went left off the face. So you can imagine, or now I guess you know where we're going here, if I can keep them nice and passive, passive wrists through impact, perfectly straight line. I'm going to do that a couple of times just to feel. Straight line. Again, straight line. Now what happens there at impact when I'm doing that? you'll see for me to get that my shaft goes forward and through. Now that forward shaft lean where my hands are, are going to dictate the low point. My body is going to go with that as well. So from there, I move forward to get to that position. If I flip, body stalls. If I roll, body stalls. In order to get into the correct position, I didn't just move hands, I moved body as well, which kept the wrists and hands quiet. The stalling of the body, 
because a byproduct of the hands working incorrectly, vice versa. That's trouble, isn't it? So we take this onto the golf course. Eight iron, hands down. That's it. There it is. When I'm doing so, I'm trying to maintain the distance between the hands as if I'm holding the ball that I had earlier. There, there, right palm to sky, left palm to sky. So left palm on the way back, right palm on the way through. We are worried more about the way through just now. Good. Incorporate that motion with the body. There you go. And we get to here. There's your forward shaft lean. And through to release. There we are. On the golf shot. Feeling the same motion. Just a little soft one. There. It's great body. Hear the strike, hear how pure, again, right palm to sky, left palm to ground, there's no rolling over, there's no tucking underneath, it's just a natural release. Increase the range of motion, oh hello, Low point on that, so that little soft shot there, low point was 0.4 inches after impact. So even on a small shot like that, I'm getting it to work. Good again. Low point there, Trackman says. 0 0.6 inches after impact. Let's hit a stronger shot now. Try and feel that, that. That when I get to there, my leading edge is at 45 degrees. There, leading edge is 45 degrees. It's not flipped over, it's not laid back. Scoop. 45 degrees is there. That's great. Let's get this one going. Felt okay. Low point, 4.9 inches ahead. I need more speed there. It's good. Wrists and hands did nothing. Of course when we get up to here we're going to release and things are going to happen but through impact, as I say, impact is a very fractional area of the golf swing, such a short period of time, from point of impact to point of separation, we're there. You can hear, so there's forward shaft lean there as well to get that angle of attack or low point, 4.1 inches ahead. Good, so what do your hands do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so yeah, the hands stay quiet. Keep them quiet, keep them passive through impact. Let the body turn, let the body react to the golf ball. Don't let your hands and wrists overtake or try and control that club head. Sure, it's the only point of contact we have with the golf club, the fact the hands are on the grip, but it doesn't mean they have to control it. They are the control point from a connection point of view between the body and the golf club. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for hitting the thumbs up button and also thanks for hitting the bell notification which as you know gives you instant notifications of all my videos and I'll see you in the next one.